Caged Godfather Thomas Cavanaugh is suspected of involvement in a total of seven Kinahan cartel murders including two of his own cousins. The veteran mob boss jailed for 21 years in a UK court is suspected of playing a key role in directing the murders of Noel Kirwan, Trevor O'Neill, and Martin O'Rourke. All three murders were carried out by hitmen linked to the Byrne organized crime group headed up by Bomber. He is also believed to have sanctioned the hits on his own cousins, Paul and Gerard Cavanaugh, who were then shot by Kinahan cartel gunmen. Both Trevor O'Neill and Martin O'Rourke had no involvement in criminality and were collateral damage as Bomber and his boss Daniel Kinahan waged war on the streets of Dublin. The UK-based crime boss is also believed to have supplied weapons for two other murders linked to the Hutch Kinahan feud. Bomber is believed to have arranged for the shooters to be supplied to the killers of Derek Coakley Hutch a nephew of Jerry Hutch and Jason Molino. The two Hutch associates were shot as part of a sub-feud by criminals given weapons and logistical support by Bomber's network. We can also reveal, Bomber's drug operation was preparing for massive shipments from Europe just one day after the funeral of his brother-in-law David Byrne, shot dead at the Regency Hotel. 24 hours after The Godfather stood in mourning at Street Nicholas and Myra Church on Francis Street in Dublin 8, his lieutenant Daniel Canning leased a new premises in the UK where drugs and guns would be delivered for transport on across England and Ireland in the weeks and months that followed. He plotted a complex import-export plan using modified machinery, legitimate transporters and suppliers, and set up shadow companies to hide his network, but he also found time to kill. The speed with which Kavanaugh got back to business in the days after the murder of his wife's brother is a sign of his cold and calculated approach to the underworld, which he ruled for decades with an iron fist, from his UK base. Garda believed that he ordered multiple murders, plotted assassinations, and even provided weapons for others to kill. The killings of homeless man Martin O'Rourke and tourist Trevor O'Neill, both shot dead in cases of mistaken identity, and the murder of the monk's old pal Noel Duck Egg Kirwan are suspected of having been carried out on his orders, while he also took a senior role in the plot to kill James Mago Gately, which backfired spectacularly. The blood bond between Bomber and Daniel Kinahan was cemented the day David Byrne took a bullet meant for the mob boss during a boxing weigh-in. But already, two years previous, they had forged a murderous relationship when Kinahan came to him with intelligence that his cousin Gerard Hatchet Kavanaugh was planning to kidnap one of Bomber's kids and hold them for ransom to the tune of 1 million euros. Although no evidence of such a plot was ever found, officers believe that Kavanaugh gave Kinahan permission to kill Hatchet in Spain and later to murder his younger brother Paul in Dublin as the bloody Hutch Kinahan feud exploded. They came together and like chess players planned their moves and decided who would live and who would die. The fear he instilled in others was Thomas Bomber Kavanaugh's greatest power and he finally tuned his theater of terror as a master weapons supplier and cold decision maker. Those who worked with him knew to only speak when addressed and to always be on their guard against the ferocious temper that welled inside him. When the powerful fists came they showed no mercy and only the dumbest would try to intervene. He held collections of weapons like those found by the UK's National Crime Agency NCA between the bedside locker and the bed in his Tamworth master suite and was never slow to use them. He regularly kneecapped or terrorized those who disobeyed his orders, mishandled his money or slipped up in any way. Threats, torture and beatings were all to be used to exert power and control and most importantly everyone should know their place. In Ireland and the UK he had a clear structure under him with each lieutenant having a detailed role and responsibility for logistics, weapons, drug trafficking or enforcement. Failures in any areas resulted in severe punishments. Everyone within his ranks was controlled with violence and even more mature lieutenants, including former car dealer Lee Cullen and notorious Graham the Wig Wellen, were regularly beaten for digressions. Cullen was so savagely beaten a number of times once with a wheel brace that he was admitted to hospital with his injuries. While Bomber enjoyed his power, he found himself feeling a touch of panic after he was arrested in prison in the UK, where he was serving a minor conviction for a stun gun found in his Birmingham home during a raid associated with the bigger case being investigated by the NCA. It was Garda who had made the breakthrough into Bomber's operation when they raided his weapons HQ in Dublin in January 2017 and seized an arsenal of guns and one very important document. Unknown to Kavanaugh, the document, a bill of lading for cargo from a transport company in the UK, was followed up by officers from the Garda's Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau. 
it led to a legitimate UK company who had no idea they were transporting drugs and cash for Kavanaugh's network and in turn resulted in a huge investigation known as Operation Hornstay. Finely tuned undercover policing which carefully pieced together the chain of command in his group. Snapshots of what was happening during the worst months of the Kinahan and Hutch feud show that Kavanaugh was focused on two things, revenge and money. In November Kavanaugh, his father-in-law and his pal Declan Brady and Daniel Canning partied in New York when their first consignment of drugs made it through. By December, another for multi-million euro consignments landed safely. Kavanaugh partied hard hosting a big bash at the Hyatt Hotel in Birmingham and weeks later Noel Duck Ed Kirwan, the monk's old pal, was shot dead in a sick final end-of-the-year push to increase the murders in Dublin. However, on October 2, 2017 a consignment intercepted in Dover would lead Bomber to the dock of Ipswich Crown Court into a massive 21-year sentence for his crimes. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and hit the like button to help support the channel.